Hey YouTube, it has not been that long. Basically, I have COVID. I have not had COVID ever. This whole pandemic, I have never had COVID. The week before I go on holiday to Barcelona, a much needed break I would say, I get COVID. So I can't go on holiday because it's tomorrow and I'm still testing positive. So I've been better, I've been better. And you know what, I think I caught COVID as well. I went to visit, you know, Fife, good old Fife. Went to my local nightclub, absolute cesspit in there. <laughs> Definitely caught it in there. No one wears a mask. So I for sure just caught it there. It's my own fault at this point. I was stupid. But today, I'm going to be doing a Pamela Anderson makeup tutorial. Um, I haven't watched the Pam and Tommy thing, Tommy and Pam TV show. I don't know really anything about it. I haven't seen it. I just know I love Pamela Anderson. I think she's amazing. Um, And she's obviously stunning. So I had to recreate uh, I generally are makeup, not a specific look. I'm going to use the foundation I use when I fake tan. Well, I'll show you. Basically, I use, I take this Wet n Wild foundation in Desert Beige. I don't use this straight out of the bottle, obviously. It'll be way too dark, even with fake tan. I just mix it with whatever foundation I'm using. So, uh, oh, that's disgusting. Big hair. <laughs> um, I... I'm going to have a very obvious foundation line right now, but look how pale I am. I can't do a Pamela Anderson makeup look without a bit of a tan. I'm just going to start with the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. Just put that everywhere. Yeah, um, I don't fake tan too much. Uh, I can't fake tan right now. I was going to fake tan to do this video, but um, I bleached my eyebrows, as you can see. <laughs> and if you fake tan with bleached eyebrows, they go orange. So I'm going to avoid that and also they don't look great. My eyebrows grow in like at a rapid rate. I don't know why because my hair doesn't grow at a rapid rate. They look a bit crusty but it means I can do small brows without having to shave my eyebrows down. Not that I have a problem with that as you know. Yeah, I'm going to take it down my neck. The first couple of days I had COVID I didn't feel good at all. Um, I've got, definitely got om Omicron. I feel a bit better now. Just got like, it just felt like a bad cold to be honest but yeah. That's why I might sound a bit, you know. <laughs> Is this tan enough? A little bit tanner, maybe. Look healthy for once. I think, honestly, I'm a bit paler because I'm unwell, to be honest. I look worse for wear. And my skin has been better as well. I think my body is just... I've had, like, a lot wrong with me recently. It's like my immune system just... is not happy with me at all. I don't know what I've done wrong. I'm gonna take that down my neck. And also, if you spot any dandruff on my hair, do not say anything, I'll cry. I've been having so much dandruff issues lately. It's just not been going my way. Just taking the Fenty concealer, just putting it where I usually would. Do quite a heavy, heavy skin routine maybe because it's not like I'm wearing this outside, it doesn't have to be wearable, you know. Um, I might just take a wee pack for Insta on it. But even then, I might not. I'm just going to add a tiny bit of the foundation I just used to the concealer so it's not too light. It's frustrating as well. I have COVID and um, one, I had a holiday and two, it's like the most important time now for me at uni. Like, I need to be... I need to be working. I can't really get away with not working and I can't leave the house. And I do a physical art course at, that I need to be there for. So, you know, all I can do right now is like the like research aspect of my course. Um, and I don't want to do it. <laughs> so all I've been doing is playing The Sims. I take the Charlotte Tilbury contour wand. And I'm just going to... This is very much dead. It's got like nothing in it. But. And so I add most of the warmth that I kind of need for the sun kiss look that Pamela Anderson has. Sorry, I'm sitting on a bean bag right now. This is why I don't like filming in the living room. It's not, you should see the setup I've got going on right now. Just 
that is our base and just blend it all in. I thought I'd do this Pamela Anderson look as well now because our hair kind of is similar, blonde fringe, right? So if I'm going to do it any time it would be now. This is a powder foundation. I've run out of my loose powder, that's why I'm using this. I ordered some loose powder that's coming tomorrow, so I need to wait, but... I used the Milk Makeup loose powder for like God knows how long, but I'm going to try that. I love that one as well. My two favourite loose powders are the Milk Makeup one and the Laura Mercer one is really good. I can't remember what I ordered actually. I think it was a Laura Mercier. It might have been Too Faced actually, I don't know. I'm not going to go too heavy on the contour or anything because it was the 90s, no one was really doing that. But I am, for my own benefit, going to contour my nose. Just because Pamela Anderson has a very cute little button nose, right? And I have pretty much, I mean my whole face shape is basically the opposite of Pamela Anderson, so. But I'm trying to make this kind of like Something I could wear, you know. Oh, I was shot once again. Like I don't, I'm not trying to do one of those makeup tutorials where it's like I'm gonna contour my face to look exactly like her. I just want like the same vibe as her. I'm going to go on with the Charlotte Tilbury blush and Walk Off No Shame. I'm going to try and put it on with my beauty blender, don't ask me why. I just I have a feeling that might work better. Just because it... Oh, it didn't work. <laughs> I've got so much dry powder on my face that I'm... Like all the dry patches on my skin, I'll just pick it up with a brush so... This will maybe help. Yeah, kind of. I'm going to go in with the brows. This is a very crucial part, I think. But we're just going to pretend that I don't have bleached eyebrows right now. <laughs> I kind of just followed the top of my eyebrow there. Just as if you were like gonna over pluck them, you'd pluck them to the top. Now for the eye makeup. It seems pretty straightforward, I'm not gonna lie. Just a uh, Black crayon eyeliner. What do you even call these? Pencil. <laughs> right, well, I've messed up already. Good to know. I can maybe take this back though. I'm not trying to do an emo look. Yeah. Naturally. <laughs> that looks pretty emo. I'm just going to lay in the top waterline as well. Always makes me laugh this like 90s, 2000s makeup is always kind of overlapping with the like punk goth kind of makeup because these eyebrows, the waterline, there's this famous image, right? Um, she's got a heavy black, but I'm going to avoid that slightly. I'm going to make that smaller because if I do it, I'm going to look like a goth. Everything I do just naturally, I just naturally accidentally make myself look like a goth because that's the dream. Yeah, I'm just putting this here. Mm. 
I'm going to take a little eyeshadow brush and just try and diffuse it. Oh, this is the Hoz, oh, Hoz Laboratory um, Gel Pencil Eyeliner in Punk, by the way. Forgot to mention. <laughs> this My Mind colour. This is another Hoz Laboratories eyeshadow palette. And this is a Stupid Love palette. And the shade is My Mind, yeah. Okay, I'm going to kind of build on that here. I think it's hard when, like in this day and age, try not to make the makeup very modern, you know? Resist the urge to like do a cut crease. <laughs> uh, I'm just going to blend that out. Focus for me, thank you. Okay, that's what we're left with for now. I might go back. Just gonna apply the MAC mascara. This is D30 in Extreme Dimension 3D Black Lash. That looks pretty off its time, I'd say. I'm gonna take the same eyeshadow palette I just used that has gone missing. So I'm just gonna take the white in this, it's uh, 911, just pure white. And I'm gonna take that just above the brow. Now in this photo as well specifically, she's very glowy. But did people in the 90s use highlight? What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna use the Milk Makeup Bionic Glow. This is like a kind of liquid highlight. Um, and it's a bit more, you know, of a natural glow rather than a Glittery one. Yeah, that's the effect I wanted. Just gonna put a tiny bit on my nose as well. I'm not gonna lie, I feel like Palm Anderson looks better than me <laughs> right now. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. What I'm gonna do is just quickly uh, line a very thin line here because I think that's what I'm missing I'm taking these quite thin Ardell lashes um, they're quite long but they're quite thin as you can see they're the, in the wispies thing they do but um I don't remember the name of them, sorry, but you'd find them in like Super Jug, you know. Fiverr, can he beat it? 90s, early 2000s, no one was really wearing falsies, but um, yeah, it feels weird if I don't put them on. I feel like it'll be incomplete, you know. Okay, I'm going to start on, I may think, the most crucial part, the lips. Now, Shivers had very full lips and a lot of browny, brown nude kind of colours. And what I'm going to do first, controversial, I'm going to take the Morphe 2 skin tint and hint of espresso. This is just a dark, a dark kind of brown colour. I'm going to contour my lips with that first.
Okay, I'm just going to take this little Kaleidos lipstick set and I'm going to take the colour in Skinship. Put that here. You just messed all up, but just on the inner bit. As you can see, they work very nicely together. I love Kaleidos. Un oh, this is gifted, but um, not sponsored. Such a great makeup brand. I don't think it gets enough hype. It just does all the products that I want, personally. Like, if I had a makeup company, they'd do everything that I'd want, you know. Uh, I'm just going to apply these falsies. Pamela Anderson does not have a beauty spot, um, but I just putting one right here. I think works with a style of makeup. Sorry, it's for once ever. It's a sunny day in Scotland, so I'm not getting ideal light in right now. Um, yeah, this is. I'd say this is it, right? Is it? I'm going to put a quick curl through my hair, hair here. Um, nothing fancy, so there's not really any point showing you just, you know, back comb and curl and see how it looks. Okay, this is the finished look. Um, I, <laughs> I couldn't do the Pamela Anderson hair because I've got extensions in and back comb and extensions does not look good. Is what I've just learned, actually. Um, <laughs> the more you know. So yeah, I just did a, like a messy bun. Um, I only did this because one time I posted a picture to Instagram with it and everyone was like, oh my god, Pamela Anderson vibes. And I was like, oh, best compliment ever. So that's what I've done. Um, yeah, I think it's quite, it's kind of Christina Aguilera. A more, I'd say, but um, I, I, you know, it's got the vibe. Do I look like Pamela Anderson yet? No. One day though. One day. Yeah. Um, I hope you liked it. Sorry if I, uh, I was a bit off. I am depressed because I have to isolate. But I thought I'd film a video anyway, even if my my energy isn't, you know, great. So yeah, if you enjoyed it, please like. I'll be out of isolation very soon, so um, you might be get a bit of a higher energy version of me. But yeah, um, thanks for watching. Hope you liked it. Uh, yeah, hope you're having a good day. I hope you're not in isolation. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye.